Are we on the brink of a breakthrough in the hair loss world? Well, Palliage Pharmaceuticals PP405 has just completed its phase 2A clinical trial, and the results are turning heads in the hair loss community worldwide. If you're seeking the latest advancements in hair restoration, or you watched my video last week on this new and exciting ingredient, then this video is for you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Jonathan Hopkirk, Sydney-based hair loss doctor and founder of Levels of You, and someone who has also been through the trials of hair loss myself, which is why I am so passionate about helping patients on their hair loss journey on a daily basis. Today, we are diving into the recent findings just released hot off the press this month from Palage Pharmaceuticals Phase 2A trial of PP405, a topical treatment aiming to regenerate hair by reactivating dormant stem cells. Let's explore what this could mean for the future of hair loss therapy. Out of today's video, you will get three key things. One, a great understanding of what the key findings were from the Phase 2A trial run by researchers on molecule PP405. Two, you will get better insight into what the next steps are for this drug with respect to progressing through the regulatory stages. And three, I will give you my personal professional view as a hair loss doctor on these findings and also what their limitations are. And as always, you will get the details of how you can get your hands on our medical board's free e-loss hair book simply by watching to the end and following the prompts. All right, let's dive into it. Before we jump into the key points, let's recap on how PP405 works. So PP405 is a non-invasive, topical, small molecule developed by Pellage Pharmaceuticals. Unlike traditional treatments that focus on hormonal pathways, PP405 targets the NPC, or mitochondrial pyruvate carrier. This is a key component in cellular metabolism. So by inhibiting NPC, PP405 shifts cellular metabolism, activating dormant hair follicle stem cells. If you want to know more about what this molecule is and how it works, well, check out my video from last week where I did a deep dive into PP405 and its origins. All right, number one, what were the recent phase 2A trial results? Let's jump into this. So the trial's primary objectives were to assess safety and pharmacokinetics. So in layman's terms, this is how the drug interacts within the body and if there is any systemic trace of the drug getting through the skin and into the system. So that's really important. Secondary endpoints included evaluating hair density changes and signs of new hair growth. Now it was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study involving 78 participants aged 18 to 55 with varying degrees of androgenetic alopecia. For men, that was a Norwood 3 to 5, and for women, that was a 7 classification of 1, 2, 1, 3, or 1, 4. Participants applied either 0.05% concentration of PP405 gel or a placebo gel topically once a day for four weeks, followed by an eight-week observation period. What did they find? Well, from a safety perspective, PP405 was well tolerated, and there was no serious adverse events reported in this time. And importantly, there was no systemic absorption detected, indicating that the treatment remains localized to the scalp. From an efficacy standpoint, among the men with more advanced hair loss, 31% experienced a greater than 20% increase in hair density by week 8, just four weeks after completing treatment. No such improvement was observed in the placebo group, and that's an important distinction. From a regeneration standpoint, notably, PP405 appeared to stimulate new hair growth in areas previously devoid of active follicles, suggesting a regenerative effect rather than merely preserving existing hair. So these findings are promising, especially considering that most hair loss treatments require 6 to 12 months to show visible results. Where does the research team go from here? Well, Palage Pharmaceuticals plans to initiate a phase 3 trial in 2026 to further evaluate the long-term safety and efficacy of PP405 in a larger, more diverse population. An open-label extension study is also underway for participants who initially received the placebo in this phase 2A trial, and this allows for additional data collection over a three-month period on the treatment's long-term effects. So what are my views on the findings as a hair loss doctor? Well, these are encouraging results to see, especially with respect to the efficacy, particularly given, you know, such a short time frame and turnaround and the fact that 
otherwise completely dormant follicles produced here again. And that's really exciting. As it stands, it's the accepted consensus on current hair loss drugs like finasteride or ditasteride that if the follicle has regressed too much and has been switched off for more than two years, then the likelihood of you being able to restore terminal hair growth from that follicle is very low. So these PP405 results are exciting. However, what I'm not convinced of is the safety data. Generated from a trial of only 78 people in such a short time frame, I'm sorry, if you have a drug which is going to be used on probably half a billion people at least, then getting reassured and excited by safety data extrapolated from a trial on 78 people for four weeks is just not sufficient in my view. I would want to see long-term safety data used on large populations for a number of months, if not years, before I have the confidence to use this ingredient on myself or my patients. Therefore, as they scale up the participant numbers in the phase three trials next year, it will be interesting to see what is found. But without a doubt, from an efficacy standpoint, this is showing some early promise. It warrants the excitement. But we need more time with this molecule treating more people to really know if it is going to be the promised cure or not. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Next week, I'm going to answer your questions on this topic as there has been a barrage of questions and comments. So I'll do a Q&A to tackle some of these questions for you. And as always, if you'd like to get your hands on our medical boards, free hair loss ebook which has got over 70 years of experience from professors of dermatology hair transplant doctors gps hair doctors then simply like subscribe and send me an email at jonathan at levelsofyou.com.au and i will send this to asap if you thought that my voice today had less vocal fry and you thought i spoke at a better speed that was easier for you to listen please do comment because i do take these things onto account however if you care about my bracelets jog on because i do not care for your fashion advice have a fantastic day look forward to seeing you next week cheers